these guys. It's been 20 to nothing. You came back and won, and then last week you kicked a field goal at the at the gun. It's been some uh, it's a crazy game. Yeah, um, Auburn's one of the best teams in the SEC, uh, if not college football. So every time we play them, it's a dog fight. Uh, I wouldn't say as much as chippy as like Florida or uh, Bama when we play those guys, but they're still a good football team. So we just got to go out there and play our best game. Do you lean on any other of the top ten matchups this year for you know, how it feels to be in a close game since you haven't had any of those this year? I mean, we really all know all games are close for us, uh, being that this is LSU. So our backs have always, always uh, up against the wall. So basically, uh, with that being said, we just got to like play every game like it's our last because if we fall off, we fall off, man. There's no getting back. So we all know what's at stake. We know that we got to come in and play Auburn and give them our best game. They're a good team. They're top 10. We're top 10. So it's just going to be a great game. For you as a defensive guy, we were asking Kobe about this. How tough is it every day to break down Clyde? <laughs> uh, man, Clyde shifting. Uh, the last few weeks he's been showing that a lot. So. Uh, Basically, the team's getting a little taste of what we get at uh, camp and at practice. So I'm glad Clyde's doing what he's able to do. Is it is it as much as like shiftiness or power and strength? Like what what is it? Like, it's everything. Clyde got a, a taste of everything. Uh, you know, he got a style of different backs. He got Darius. He got Leonard. He got all that. So with him being and then he's short, so that's more power for him. So with that being him, he's like one of the best backs in college football. Auburn, it's kind of deal where, okay, if they pop a big play, then you got to be careful they're not going to pop another one. I mean, what's it like to defend them when they're, you know, going fast like they did? Oh, uh, so we've been playing from the last few years, you know, and they do a lot of gimmicks and stuff, a lot of gadget plays. So, uh, basically just cutting those out and uh, try to play our game, that's going to be the best thing for us, just keeping the explosive plays down. What are you guys looking at the defense to build off of from the game against Mississippi State game? Uh, just keeping the scoring down and keeping the drive short, uh, getting off the field on third downs. Uh, our third downs were 75% this week. That's uh, something we focused on. So just basically uh, keeping that alive is going to be big for us. How do you approach a talented freshman quarterback like Bo Nix? Uh, we just got to treat him like we treat everybody else. You know, we can't underlook him. You know, he's a great quarterback. Just got to play our best game on defense, and then we, we should be straight. Those gimmick and uh, gadget plays you mentioned, I mean, with, with Gus Malzahn calling plays, I mean, how – prepared do you have to be for almost anything to, to come at you? Uh, we got to be uh, well prepared. Uh, we got to practice everything. We got to look at everything. Plays, old plays, new plays, everything uh, is going to be big. This game, uh, he does a lot of gadgets, so we just got to be ready. If they bring out something new, we just got to make the corrections and get back to it. This offensive line group has a lot of experience. All, all seniors on this offensive line. Um, Coach said this morning he thinks it's, it's the best offensive line you guys have played this season. What, what have you seen from the last couple of years that feel like makes them very cohesive and, and one unit together? Uh, they're solid. You know, they, they got a good run game, you know, good pass game. They don't allow that many sacks. So um, we just got to come out, like I said, play our best game. We just got to send everything that we got. Uh, we'll have a game plan later on this week about what we're going to do. But as of right now, I just see that we just got to play our best game. How's, uh, in your opinion, Jacoby Stevens? He's kind of like a linebacker in a way, right? <laughs> yeah. Like Jacoby's an athlete, a true athlete. Um, you know, I, I give him some smack, uh, smack talk a lot, talking about I'm the better athlete. But I think Jacoby is right now, he's proven it uh, time and time again that he's the best athlete on his team. So uh, I'm just proud of him, and he's playing great right now. How excited do you guys have to be a third top 10 matchup in your, in already eight games? Uh, this is what you come to LSU for, man, top, them top matchups. Uh, you look at old games like LSU 2011, 2012, those type of teams. That's the games you pride yourself on why you want to come to LSU. I know last year um, Aranda was kind of upset that he felt like at times you guys had to manufacture pressure. Do you feel like at times this year with three and four down linemen you were able to get the pressure that you wanted? Is that still something that you feel like you you guys have to get a little bit better at as, as the weeks kind of come? Uh, it's improved. Uh, it can still get better. You know, there's always room for improvement. Uh, I feel like it's way better than it has been the last few years. Uh, with being with Caleb Bond back and uh, having Mike Divinity as well. They're getting the rush and they're getting sex. So I think I think it's a thing that we improved on and we still got room to improve on.